hello guys mr tech here and today guys we're going to be unlocking this is a security patch for the latest nokia models that is soft lock version point that is 5.1.3 the latest one this patch works for all nokia devices and because soft lock was hidden from the system so this is nokia c22 i'm going to be testing this patch with it i've already tested with the mgopa x phone and it worked perfectly although it depends so guys don't skip the video because you might meet the important part so guys we are going to look for soft lock here because on the earlier patches it was there but already it had been removed so the first thing we are going to do is to force stop package installer as you can see you cannot force stop it we are going to leave it like that so let's search for system u high Okay, system UI. It is there under the thirteen. You're going to for stop it like that. It has stopped. Okay, then there's a setting there. Modify system settings. And sure you disable that setting. Once disabled. So on this patch, we are going to launch soft lock. That is launch one activity. Meaning the other activity cannot launch. As you can see I'm going to for stop that, leave it like that. And as earlier I had said, soft lock was removed from the system. As you can see, I'm looking for soft lock there, but it's not available. See, it is not displaying, but soft lock is already installed in my system. Now the reason why it is not there it is because they did an update and made soft lock to be a core system app. The same applies to Lucky Patch. If you go to Lucky Patch and search for soft lock, it is not available. So I'm going to rescan apps to see if Lucky Patch will see soft lock. I'm going to rescan these apps. Let's wait and see. I don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. And if you did not understand, you can raise a question. You will be also answered. So I'm rescanning and I'm waiting. Also, don't forget to share this video to your friends. Who are using these um, copper devices okay i'm searching for soft lock still it hasn't found it because it has been excluded from the list of apps that are installed in the system so what we are going to do we have to go to the system folders and find soft lock there because as you can see here soft lock is not available you can look exactly it's not there let me delete everything and see if it will come is not available so i'm going to go to the system folder okay, first let me close those notifications okay let's go to system folder that is the achiever if you click there the arrow up you'll see it is going to the, this is the system folder but with the achiever you can see some files see it is saying access is denied so you have to use another file explorer so this is a list of data, data of apps, but also cannot see it because the access is denied. So let's go back and change app because this app won't help much. You need to have MT Manager installed and also to the one that works on the other phone, that is Samsung and any other device. It also works with other devices. So once you reach here on MT Manager, you'll see the app is a file with three dots. Click on it. So you can see we have gone to the system folders. So if you click etc, you can see preloaded classes, password manager, notice.xml.gz, a lot of very many files. So we have the boot image. For those who want to root the devices, there's a boot image. You can copy it and use it with magisk. You can root the device. Then after rooting, you can install an app you, you want. But routing tutorial will be for another video, not this one. But for now, you can just copy it because you will need it somewhere. You have copied it, it has gone there. So, guys, let's go. We want to find soft lock in this system folder. So, you can see I've gone to system app. I'm looking for soft lock within this. It should be somewhere there. Yeah, it is there. HMD soft lock. On the system, there it is on the system files. 
so let's open it you can see we have the soft lock already then arm 64 that is the version of the operating system that is installed on the phone the architecture it is 64 so the soft lock you can see the version is 5.006 and the one that is installed in this phone it's in version 5.1 3, which means that if you try to install this current this 5.06 it won't install it is going to say APIC does not that it is invalid because of the difference in signatures but we're going to use that ability to detect the difference in app to try to launch the activity of installing soft lock hence prevent this soft lock from launching so you can see it is 5.006 that's the version code version name 5.06 Naturally, you can edit this to any version you want. This 5.06, you can edit it, then extract the certificate, and I'll show you how to extract that, but not on this video. On the next video, I'll be showing you how to extract certificate and patch the APIC to be an update, then use Lucky Patcher to remove the permissions, making the application not to run. But that, after doing that, you cannot update the device. That is decompiling and decompiling, but that is for another video. So as you have seen, that there is a file that is system.uid.android. So you can see I'm going to search for that file name. You can see, you see. So this is the part that was improvised and introduced to Softlock to make it to be a system application. So Softlock is running hand in hand with system ui earlier it was running with face epic but they changed from that and made it to run with system ui making sure that you cannot uninstall it because system ui it is a core application of the android system by deleting that application the app even the phone cannot boot because system ui it is the one that displays every application so guys Let's go to display of other apps. Also, you cannot disable that. You can see because it is the one that integrates how the window of an app will look like. Now the app will be, but you can't stop it. So let's go back to our empty manager to soft lock. So guys, I want to use the ability of empty manager to detect there's an I version of a soft lock installed. So you can see the signature also you are supposed to extract that signature but will be on the next video so it is saying unable to downgrade the installation do you want to uninstall the installed i version application first you click ok you see replace this app with the factory version you click ok so immediately to do that you can see installing has started you can see and installing soft lock has started this this process once it started the software cannot launch because it is already been deleted so it cannot launch itself when if the payment has ended software will not open because it has to wait for the uninstallation to finish so for it to lock the device hope you have seen you see it is still uninstalling so when the software is about to open it will be cured by the system it is put in a line and told that at this moment you have to wait for the package installer to finish removing this application and then it will be given permission to launch that is if you reset the phone to launch so on this on, on lucky patcher it doesn't do the same on lucky patcher it is said that it has failed so i'm going to look for up inf information to show in the same what about the certificate is there SHA1 so you can use that certificate you extract it narrate a fake app that is soft lock fake with the same certificate and use it so you see I'm able to downgrade the app so you're going to install remove and replace with the factory version don't count install because as I have said you can see now there are two but so for the process let's make them to be three you can see so software right now cannot launch no matter what and this version it is working with all mcopa devices that is nokia devices ranging from nokia c22 
Nokia C01 but it is limited to restarting of the device if you restart your device it will lock but guys you need to make a payment before using this process that is you pay the daily payment and when it is about to end you do this patch once you do this patch the device will not lock at the expected time it will stay up to a minimum of one week but on a warning before you sleep during the night and show that data connection and wi-fi they are disabled that is during the night because the phone will request for updates if it requests for updates you will not this soft lock is not launching and it may restart the system but with that i think the problem is solved if you have any issue you're going to tell me this app can't install but you can edit it i'll show you how to edit the xml file in the system files of softlock to an higher version like create version 5.10 then install it so when it tries to open just this epic not installed so guys thank you for watching and if you have any question leave a comment there i'll be answering you guys and thank you for being with me i don't forget to share this video and like so guys and also the one last thing Ensure the system navigation it is not these buttons. Ensure it is always get the navigation when you are using these patches. Because this device is said that by pressing the center button, it launches soft lock. I don't know if you know that, but if you are paid, it can't launch. So, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much.